In this tutorial we're going to take a look at charging late fees. Late fees are an amount that is charged to the tenant if they don't pay their rent on time. Now just be careful because late fees are legal in some countries and not legal in others. At the time of creating this tutorial it's not legal to be able to do this in New Zealand but it is legal in other countries such as the United States. So for those people that can do it this is how it's done. First of all we set it up, go to functions, options and late fee setup and tick this box here to say that you actually want to charge late fees because it's turned off by default. Down here we specify the calculation like me we, we might want to specify $10 plus 2% of rent or you can have one or the other uh, so you can specify either a, a fixed value or a percentage of the rent to be charged as the fee. You can also specify that the due date is either the period start date or the period end date. Plus you can also specify a number of grace days like we might want to specify that we'll give them 10 days um, if they inadvertently miss a rent payment or something like that we'll give them 10 days to correct it. I'll save that. Now something else also on the tenant details screen for this tenant 3 if we turn on late fees we get this new field appearing down here called a daily late fee. So we can specify we want to charge an additional $1 per day for each day that they are late. Now this is in addition to the other calculation that I set up on the other screen. So I'll save that. Now that I've got that set up I know that particular tenant does owe rent so if I go to the information screen we've got a new box that's appeared down here called late fees and we can see there's 23 of them. So if I click on more information we can see this is all the late fees that is due for this tenant. Now at this point I have the option to override this so I can untick this and I can say well let's only apply a few of these or if we want to we can just say apply the whole lot and click the apply button. But in this case what I'll do is I'll just pick a few of them like let's say maybe these three late fees for this tenant here and I'm going to choose apply and there they are there. You'll notice it's actually gone straight to the extra charges because late fees are actually a, a special form of extra charge, an automatically generated extra charge. So if I was to look at tenant 3 again and take a look at the extra charges tab there's the late fees there. And if we go over here we'll find the late fees down here being applied to this tenant. There is a separate tutorial on extra charges. I suggest looking at the extra charge tutorial to see how you go about repaying or how the tenant goes about repaying and recording the payment of those extra charges. In this case, late fees.